Hi, my name is Nick Cahill. My thoughts on Seton Hall and the Big East are um, for Seton Hall, the trying to build a balanced team without Jeremy Azell, the guy who threw up 50 shots a game. Um, with Herb Pope having four double doubles in his first five games, he's emerging as a big player. With balanced scoring from him, guys like Fuquan Edwin, Jordan Theodore, and even Aaron Cosby, this team's going to could be middle of the pack Big East instead of a team that was going to be a cellar dweller like everyone thought. Um, or as far as the rest of the Big East, UConn's obviously the team to beat. Shabazz Napier, Jeremy Lamb are two of the top players in the nation. But they've shown they're beatable, losing to UCF and teams like that. Um, uh, Notre Dame look like they're going to have a good team. Tim Avermaidis is out for the season, so they're in trouble. The Big East is overall a lot weaker this year than it has been in the past. But I think UConn will win the Big East. Teams like Villanova will have a good year. And Georgetown beat Alabama recently, so they're going to be top 25. Hopefully, Seton Hall could get a few wins in the Big East and make a run in the tournament. Hey guys, my name is Mike Vittori. I'm a sophomore from Seton Hall. If I had to choose what conference I thought was the best in college basketball, I would have to go with the Big East. Uh, I, I say the Big East because they have a mix of ranked teams and unranked teams, so you really get a mix of both flavors there. Uh, two teams that I really like this upcoming season are St. John's and Rutgers. St. John's plays more of a fast-paced, up-tempo style, and Rutgers has a strong core of freshmen that are going to lead them through the next four years. Uh, but if I had to choose one team, I would have to go with the Pirates. Between Herb Pope rebounding, Jordan Theodore leading the team, and Fu Quan draining all the shots, it's going to be a pretty solid upcoming season. Hi, I'm Rocky DeGregorio. I'm a sophomore at Seton Hall. I think that Seton Hall will, will build a great connection with CBA. They produced a, a few current players like Alda, Drimapur, and Carlos. I think that this will be a great pipeline for the Pirates because it allows Seton Hall to recruit experienced players.